Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I'm back this week to show you the new releases from Flight for 2022. Now, we all love Flight because in the last couple of years, you know, that kind of pandemic onwards era, the ukulele, some brands had lost their imagination, but Flight were constantly pushing forward with new ideas or new takes on existing ideas and freshening things up in a way that doesn't feel forced or feel like they're just kind of commercially driven. You get a sense with Flight that they are really excited about the ukulele and excited to kind of boldly go where no one or not many people have gone before. And uh, the first model in particular that we're going to look at today, uh, first and second model, concert and tenor of the same thing, you know, they are a fresh take on a classic. So, you know, we're going to look at the Nighthawk range today. We're going to take a look at the um, Peter Moss model, which we have featured before, but, you know, it's in stock now. It's a thing. We're going to take a look at the A10QM Aqua, which is the quilted maple model, but with a fresh facelift that many of you will not have seen before. It's not brand new, but it's been about 18 months since we last had them. Uh, you've got the Aurora baritone which is flight's first venture into a professional quality baritone and then we're going to take a look at two new ukuleles in the electric range we're going to take a look at the vanguard which is um you know that kind of uh santana-esque electric ukulele and then we're going to take a look at the pioneer because that's what flight are doing they are pioneering uh, the ukulele moving it forward and uh, i'm very excited to show you all of these ukuleles today let's begin Okay, ukuleles number one and two today we're going to look at are the Nighthawk ukuleles. A new release from Flight. It has a solid spruce top and solid mahogany back and sides. But you can't really see that because it's under this uh, very, very cool translucent black finish. The back in particular, you can't really see any of the wood grain. It's almost a matte black under gloss. But on the top, you have this really nice, uh, you can see the wood grain, but it's still distinctly Johnny Cash-esque moody and cool. Um, you have the other features from some other popular models like the Carabao and the Fireball, where you have the pin bridge with the red bridge pins. Some people go, oh, why do Flight do the red bridge pins? Well, the answer is why not? No one else is doing it, so why don't they uh, take advantage of something different? An abalone rosette which gets missed because you have this insane electric blue uh, scoop cutaway and front binding that's right electric blue really cool it's not going to be for everybody but I love the idea that you have something very very noir very you know black and then you've got the real touch of flashiness about it We've had a few people come in the shop and see one of these on the wall this week, the first week since they've launched, and um, they've chosen them over Fireballs, they've chosen them over Mustangs, and they are slightly more affordable, so it's worth checking out the link in the description to find out more about that. You have a rosewood fingerboard and bridge with uh, some very cool, I'll, I call them invisible inlays. They're inlays that have the uh, bits taken out of them but you can still see them and they're side mounted so they're much easier to see when you look down. You have uh, another flash of blue for the headstock inlay. So it's a kind of blue turquoise flight logo, but you still have the normal flight slotted headstock with those black open gear tuners. The concert has a 36 mil nut width and the tenor has a 38 mil nut width. So it's a wide nut ukulele for those looking for a wider string spacing. And actually that's something I've always liked about the Flight Spirit and the Carabao concert is that slightly bigger feel in the hands. It's got more of a Hawaiian feel to it than say like a Carla or um, uh, you know, like a Lanakai or something at that kind of price you'd normally expect to have a 35 mil nut. Snail is another brand that's just a bit more petite. And finally, I should show you that they have a pickup. You have inside that sound hole, you have the volume and tone control of a double C1U system. It's an under saddle piezo with an end pin jack socket, which doubles up as a strap button, if that's uh, something you're wondering. Yeah, why not? Why not fly? Well done for doing something different. Let's give the Nighthawk concert a play and then the Nighthawk tenor a play and see what you think.
Next up today, we're going to take a look at a familiar face. This is the Flight Peter Moss concert model. Now, Peter is one of Flight's uh, most popular endorsees, um, a player of many, many years, having done lots of different ventures that have taken him all around the world. Flight have gifted him with his own signature model. He's been playing a Spirit for a long time. And the signature model takes a lot of the spec of the Spirit, but gives it the tone woods and aesthetic uh, choices that Peter likes. So this has, first of all, a moonburst finish. It's a sunburst, but not as we know it. So you've got this kind of grey film noir, black and white television version of a sunburst, which is grey faded to black on the top, but it's translucent. So you can see the figuring on the solid spruce top underneath. You have an abalone rosette on the top, so it's not all black and white. You've got some colour in there somewhere. The back and sides are mahogany, solid mahogany, stained a kind of walnut brown colour, which is uh, really, really cool because if you were too colourful, like a chestnut kind of reddy colour with that dark top, it might look a bit funny, but actually, cosmetically, everything matches really nicely here. You have a cream ivoroid binding, and it's got a scoop cutaway just for upper fret access. You have a rosewood fingerboard and bridge with flight slotted headstock and the open gear tuners. It's a mahogany neck with a 36 mil nut width and a bone nut and saddle. And inside the sound hole, you have the double C1U pickup, which is nicely disguised if you don't want to be plugging it in. But if you do, you've got the preamp there, the pickups under the saddle, and then you've got the end pin jack socket. Uh, as with all flights, this comes with one of those uh, really cool red gig bags. And yeah, there's not much else to say. It's a gloss finish on the body, but with a satin finish on the neck, another trademark of flights. It gives it a lived in, kind of more played in, slightly more relaxing feel on the hands. You haven't got to work quite as hard uh, as you play up the neck. Yeah, what a cool ukulele. Let's give the Peter Moss concert a play and see what you think. If you're wondering what Flight did with all the colour that should have been on the Peter Moss model and the Nighthawks, well, I have it here. This is the Flight A10 QM Aqua. We featured quite a few A10s, including an earlier version of this model in the past. And the idea was that Flight would release four anniversary models uh, on, their on their 10th anniversary, which was in 2020. They would have the A10 Fade, which is the one that I, I play, the one you've probably seen on our top 10 of the year, which is a, a fade of kind of blues to yellows, um, and it's flamed maple. You have the Mango Dragon, which is a mango, um, a mango wood with its own kind of a medieval theme and then you have the coco dragon which is a spruce and coco bolo combo the fourth model was the qm uh, which has existed in two different variations uh, flight accidentally i think i could say made the qm with the faded burst last time so we had a limited run of those models but this is what it should have been all along this is uh, a quilted maple top back and sides all solid wood with a really delicate fade from the green turquoise color to black. If you look at the link in our descriptions, the five of these that we've received have varying degrees of black on the top. Some of them have barely any at all, so they're all very unique to look at. But the back and sides is kind of more what you would expect to see on all of them. It's this aqua turquoise really I just don't know how to describe it. There's so many ukuleles out there now that are um, brightly colored, 
but so few that mix the bright color with the high quality woods and don't look tacky. I mean, I can name three brands off the top of my head that do that very, very well. I probably shouldn't actually, because it's probably more than three and I'll look like a bit of an idiot if I forget one. So I'll keep that one to myself. You have an abalone front binding, which is very hard to spot here because the wood itself is so, uh, so blue and green. Abalone front binding with a black, I believe it's a, a rosewood trim. It might be ABS plastic, I can't actually tell. You have a rosewood fingerboard and bridge with flights pin bridge. Those red bridge pins once again. A 38mm nut width uh, with quite uniquely a maple neck. There's not really many models out there with a maple neck in the ukulele world. A different slotted headstock to flights other models. You have these really lovely teardrop shaped gold open back tuners with the armrest here for comfort and a lot of people are probably wondering you know is it just a paint job that's making this instrument you know twice the price of a flight fireball and although there's no denying the paint job is probably a big factor in the price these these instruments are made by a very small team of about three or four luthiers they're not kind of production instruments in the same way a mustang or a fireball is so you're, you're finding that basically the people that are in charge of the design and overseeing production of the wider flight high-end ukuleles are in charge solely of building these instruments. And this kind of structure is in place with other, other luthiers and companies. You know, you have Canalair Customs, you have uh, Koaloha red labels and black labels, which are kind of family overseen or overseen by the head luthiers. So it makes sense that Flight would have this kind of structure in place as well out in the Far East. You have this giant abalone rosette, which I forgot to mention somehow because I got distracted by the wood. And yeah, the total package, in fact, depending on the light you shine it in, you get a completely different visual experience. Let's give the A10 QM Aqua a play and uh, take a look at the various different types in the description while they're in stock. Next up today, we have the flight model I'm most excited to talk about in this video. This is the Flight Aurora. About a year ago, we asked Flight if they could make a high-end baritone because it's something that we get asked for all the time. And in the kind of flight price point, you know, that kind of three to 500 pound price point, there's a big gap in the market for electroacoustic baritones. Really, you've got an Ahana model or two, a Carla model or two, and quite frequently they are out of stock or not all in stock at the same time. Flight said this is something they get asked for all the time, they had something in development and we finally have our hands on one today. The Aurora has a solid spruce top with laminate rosewood back and sides. You have the abalone rosette that you get used to on models like the Voyager and the Carabao with a string through bridge. You have a rosewood fingerboard and bridge with these unique, I'm going to call them Cheerio inlays. They look like tiny Cheerios. They're the Aurora inlays, and a nice unique feature. That's why we're talking about flight so positively. You know, they put unique features on models and they're not just going and settling for like a, a five point crown or something that you've seen a million times before. Flights have ditched the, slot, the slotted headstock for this baritone. It has a normal paddle headstock with a, a shell inlay. And on the back there you have the open gear gold tuners. 
This uke has a 38mm nut width with a, a standard baritone scale, somewhere in the middle of that 20 to 21 inches. Um, comes with a padded gig bag, so you're not missing out just because you're buying a baritone. And yeah, it's a big boy. You know, this ukulele is wider than your average baritone. And although it's average length and average size, you do get a bit more of a pronounced lower bout shape. And uh, I'm looking forward to showing you how that affects the sound. Let's give Flight Aurora Baritone a play and see what you think. So we're going to push ahead now with a new entry in Flight's Rock series. This is the Flight Pioneer, an electric solid body ukulele uh, based on a historical 1960s electric guitar. This has a mahogany body. It's weightier than the Pathfinder, about the same weight as the Centurion and a bit heavier in my hands than the Vanguard, the model that we're going to look at after this. That creates a bit more sustain. You have two twin humbuckers here with a selector switch. For those of you new to this kind of thing, if you were to select up, you'd get this pickup. If you went in the middle, you would get both pickups. If you went down, you get just the bridge pickup. Creating different sounds, brighter sounds, louder sounds, harsher sounds. You have twin tone controls here and twin volume controls here. The neck has block inlays. So they're much easier to spot from the side, but you do also have a bound neck with dots as well. So if you kind of feel a bit out of control, you know, you can see where you're at. It's a set neck design. The neck goes all the way through. So it's very sleek. It's got that kind of uh, fit to the body that many don't have. It's thinner than the other electrics in the flight series too. You have this flight headstock with the abalone inlay on the headstock and the and closed gear tuners one thing flight have done right on these electric ukuleles is the zero fret which helps to improve intonation these things do feel very different to your average ukulele i know they sound different but the feel is it's unlike anything you would have experienced with nylon or fluorocarbon strings you know the, the steel strings are quite hard on your fingers when you're new to it if you've never tried one before and the shorter scale length paired with electric guitar style strings creates quite a resilient and quite a slippery experience so it does take some getting used to it but if you've played electric guitar in the past you'll know what to expect but if you're coming completely blind from the ukulele this is a bit of a culture shock so do bear that in mind before you purchase one or before you try one but if you do get to grips with it, the rewards are really, really satisfying. The temptation is for me to just play some ACDC or something really heavy on one of these, but I'm not. I'm going to play something a bit more kind of a bit a bit more ukulele like in the hope that it gives you an idea of the differences between them. What we're going to do then is we're going to look at the Vanguard and I'm going to get Phil to play something a bit more dynamic and a bit more electric guitarish on them. But for now, let's give the Flight Pioneer a play and see what you think. Thank you. 
Last up today, we're gonna to take a look at the Flight Vanguard. This ukulele is so cool. Based on a, a historic electric guitar, no doubt, this ukulele has a maple cap with a mahogany body. So you've got a maple top there, mahogany for the rest. It's curvy, you've got these curves on the inside for comfort against your body, but you've also got a very nicely uh, um, carved style top. The tone controls and volume controls are recessed slightly into the body so that you don't accidentally knock them when you play. Same for the tone switch. And the controls are slightly different. You still have a pair of humbuckers on this model, but you have a volume and tone that control the independent channel you're on. So you would go neck pickup, volume and tone, middle pickup, volume and tone, bridge pickup, volume and tone. You have different style inlays here as well. They are side mounted inlays like you get on the Fireball and some of the ukes we've looked at today. Still get a normal style headstock with the closed gear tuners, a zero fret, and as I mentioned before on the Pioneer, you know, playing an electric ukulele is a completely different experience. They can be quite slippery, but also quite resilient and hurt your fingers at first. So if you're somebody looking at taking one of these on, do go in with your eyes open that it's a bit of a culture shock. Um, but the rewards are super sweet. This model comes in a translucent black or a translucent purple finish. The purple one has been the more popular finish so far and I'm, I'm not really surprised. I kind of, kind of love to get one myself and pretend to be Prince. Just such a cool different instrument. Uh, finally, the Rock Series ukuleles are coming with a different gig bag to the other flight ukuleles. They come with a thin blue padded gig bag. When I say thin, I'm not talking about unpadded, I'm talking about kind of contoured for the slimmer body, um, but a really nice padded gig bag um, to finish everything off. Um, I'm not going to play the Vanguard, I really struggle to play these upside down. I'm going to get Phil to play it and really show you what it can do. There you have it folks, we've taken a look at seven new releases from Flight. Which one are you most excited about? Which one can't you wait to hop in the car, hop on the plane, hop on the boat, get down to Bournemouth and uh, see for yourself uh, what all the fuss is about? I'd love to know in the comments section. Um, if you have any questions though, you can also contact me in store on 01202 430 820 or you can email me at alex at ukulele.co.uk. I'd be really, really honored if you subscribe to this channel and I'd also be honored if you take a look at my Ukes of Alex channel too, where I regularly upload content and videos about ukulele subjects I don't have time to cover in my day job at the Southern Ukulele Store. Um, if you like my t-shirt, this is a Manu Hu t-shirt, a new Kanalea ukulele that is coming out very, very soon. You can keep an eye on my ukeswith.com website for more information about that. And any of the ukuleles that you've seen today, there are links in the description to them on our website. You can check that out now. And if something's not in stock at the time you click on the link, then do get in touch and we can inform you when they come back in. I've been Alex. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Take care.